Hello, welcome to Applied Semester Live. I'm Phil, and uh, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to talk about a Marvell ice machine. Ice machines in general are my favorite appliances. It's like, you know, if you have, if you go through a lot of ice, a lot of drinks, if you have an athlete that uses ice, or just an old person like me that goes through a lot of ice for aches and pains, just wonderful, can't be beat. And uh, you'll even find that you have neighbors stopping over to borrow ice. Um, let me start right here. This is a, it's right here. This one's got a panel to hide it, so you have to see it really keep the ice. And um, so this is just a beautiful machine. And I'm going to just get some of these cubes out here. Unlike your refrigerator, unlike your refrigerator, these cubes will be clear. These cubes will be clear. One got away. And, uh, uh, the way it makes ice, it makes, the, it makes them clear. It also makes them taste better. It helps get rid of impurities that are otherwise formed when it in a mold in your typical ice maker. And I'm going to just do this. So whatever you're drinking, iced tea, soda, water, whatever, it makes everything taste better. And I see like in here, those cubes almost disappear. It's like, but they're there. And honestly, the ones at the half moon ones, you get out of a typical refrigerator, they will, they uh, form to the edge of the glass and it's just, it's just not, you know, have you ever had that happen where the ice cube sticks and it hits you in the face? But um, anyway, that's a nice little ginger ale for later. So getting back, to, um, these machines can produce 35 pounds of ice a day. It really, uh, I don't know, it's a lot. But if you don't use it, it it'll shut off. Uh, so what happens with this model, every six months, of runtime, you'll get a, under this ice light here, you'll get a thing that says clean. It'll say clean right there. Now, that just happened a couple days ago. Clean light came on, we um, go through the procedure of cleaning it, which is you have to shut it down, uh, take all the ice out, you know, wipe everything dry. You take this fascia, this the front off, this door comes up pretty easily. Uh, actually, you may want to, I'll take this off as well, and I don't think get a shot here, but it's, it's making ice right now. See, this one has, you can see the sheet of ice, the ice is formed on this evaporator in the back, and the water pouring over it forms a solid sheet of ice, which when it's thick enough, it'll slide down onto this grid, and on this grid it has squares that'll, that heat up and cut the squares. So what happens is over time, dissolved minerals in the water, even dust in the air. The, uh, the grid will get a little dirty, and so what you have to do is on the cleaning cycle is again, shut it off, take the ice out, and you have to use a cleaner that's recommended by the manufacturer. This one is uh, nickel safe. It's important that it's nickel safe on this machine because other chemicals can, uh, they would damage that evaporator. And also, if it gets, if that gets damaged, it gets abraded, the ice won't slide off and it'll just, it'll, yeah, just use the right product and you'll be good. So, for the first cleaning cycle, uh, you only need two and a half ounces of this cleaner to dilute it with a half a gallon of water. We uh, pour that onto that evaporator so it comes into this reservoir. I forgot to mention that when you're cleaning, there's a drain plug in this reservoir down here. There's a drain plug in this reservoir that'll drain the old water, put the plug back in. We uh, pour the cleaning solution in, and then you run a clean cycle. On the menu, there's actually a clean cycle that goes back, I hope, you're on live Facebook. Um, so, let me see if I can pull the menu up. Oh, it's like a show for me here. In any event, in any event, the clean cycle, I think it holds here. There's a yellow light when it's in the clean cycle, and it, uh, 
It runs for, I believe, just under an hour, 54 minutes or so. And that cycles through that cleaner, cleans off all the moving parts inside, and when it's done, you still have that cleaner or resident in the reservoir. You just pull the drain plug again, let that drain out, wipe down everything with like a paper towel. Don't use any other harsh chemicals because it's uh, paper towel is fine. And in less than an hour, it'll start to be making ice cream. So, oh, the other thing is when you do the cleaning, we've already done this. Down below here is a condenser coil. Uh oh, <laughs> door's open. The, uh, the condenser coil, this has to come apart. You should vacuum that out because this circulates room air, just like every other refrigeration appliance in your house. Um, that needs to be cleaned. And if you have uh, pets, you're probably going to need to clean it more frequently. Anyway, thank you for tuning in today. If you have any other questions, or you want me to make you a drink, come to appliancebuster.com, uh, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.